Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. I got some exciting news. Look what came in. This is our 20 foot by 8 foot shipping container. Oh, it was... I don't want to say it was interesting getting it in here because it wasn't hard, but uh, after he left, he, he just, he didn't want to help like level it or anything. He's just one of those guys where I was like, yeah, my job is just to deliver it. And he just kind of dropped it and left. So after he left, I had to use this bottle jack, which worked great, by the way. This is a Pittsburgh, this is Harbor Freight's brand of um, jacks. So it's a four ton jack, so it'll hold 8,000 pounds. This whole container only weighs, um, the whole container only weighs 5,000 pounds. So lifted it up, shifted around the blocks a little bit on both, all four sides. I had to move it around. Uh, Sam helped me as much as she could. You know, the cinder blocks are very heavy, so. Got all that squared away, and uh, I don't know if she's sitting perfectly level. I don't have a level to check, but it's more than enough level for me. You know what I mean? Um, so, you can obviously see she's had some patchwork done, but she's all sealed up. I went inside, I checked everything. There's no light coming through. I mean, this thing is solid, solid. I did go ahead today, I bought some green paint. Um, I'm hoping it matches like the pine. I, I want it to blend. I think the yellow just, it just pops too much. I, it, and it's ugly, obviously. So, um, you know, it'll cover up all the letters. It'll cover up all the rust. I bought the Rust-Oleum brand of exterior paint uh, and it's supposed to help with rust to, to prevent it. And uh, I think to minimize it from getting any worse, whatever you have. So, I gotta see if there's a way I can lube these doors up a little bit. I know sometimes people say if it's not perfectly level, um, you know, it'll be kind of hard to get them out, but I, it's, it's as level as I can get it without a level. So I might have to buy a level, we'll see. But um, the doors do take a little, a little bit of oomph to get open. Uh, it takes two hands, so I can't do it with you guys while I'm holding you guys, but uh, let me pop these doors open and I'll show you guys the inside. All right, so two seconds later, and the doors to the dungeon are open. The dogs really like going in there. <laughs> they get a kick out of running in there, and then they run really fast, and they run out. Watch, Milo, come here. Whoa! <laughs> so, I just, I love this. I love it because it's, it's steel, it's solid, it's watertight, and uh, there's just, when you look at these things online, they don't look nearly as spacious as when you get them. They're way bigger inside than what you see online. So you guys might not, you know, I don't know, think it's so spacious, maybe you do. But like when I was looking at them online, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I should go with a 40 foot, but this is plenty big. Um, the floor is in good shape. You know, there's a couple little nicks and stuff, but there's no soft spots anywhere. No weak panels. I mean, it's really solid. I am thinking about buying, um, they make wood filler to fill in the cracks and any little gaps and little nicks and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but I may buy um, like floor paint. And that'll just protect it from like, if I'm bringing something in, maybe I'm coming in and out and it's raining. It'll, it'll protect the wood floor from getting like rotted out from being wet. So, um, plus it'll just look nice out here. Cause you can, you can obviously see where a forklift went in or whatever and, you know, it's taking stuff in and out. So, I don't know, just an idea. I don't know if I'm gonna paint the sides or not. They're pretty scratched up, but we'll see. But today we're gonna start, the first thing I'm gonna do is coat the roof. So I'm gonna throw some elastomeric heat reflective paint on the roof. I was gonna do the, this one side over here because this is where the sun mainly hits because this side is pretty shaded as you can see, got a lot of trees. But um, I'm, I'm just gonna paint the whole, the whole, all four sides on, you know, green. And I think it's gonna look nice. I was also afraid with the white, it's gonna really attract more attention. I just wanna stay low key. So yeah, so I got the ladder up already. I'm gonna hop up there. Oh, when you buy these, always make sure you check the roof too. That's pretty important. A lot of people fail uh, or they just forget. They don't realize to check the roof, but it's super important. Check it from the top and then you can check it from the bottom. Uh, you can always close the doors to, and then go inside, see if you see any light protruding through. 
And if not, then you should be pretty good to go. You could also walk on it, make sure it's still strong, rigid. All right, let me get the ladder up. We're gonna start rolling this stuff on. All right, so we're on top of the roof. Well, we're on top of the shipping container today. And uh, you can see it has a little bit of rust. It looks like mainly surface rust, nothing too crazy. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm not gonna sit there for hours sanding every little bit. I'm literally just gonna take my little mini Bauer blower, blow all this pine needles off and hit it. I don't know if it's gonna look as nice as the RV roof um, because of all the deep ridges, but uh, we're gonna do what we can. Man, that breath, I freaking had to carry that heavy bucket up here. Almost fell off the ladder, slipped. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna clean this up, blow it off, and we're gonna paint it, make it look a lot nicer. All right, guys, that first coat has dried. This is the next day. It obviously needs probably two or three more coats. Probably two. You can see it's kind of coming through. Oh, okay, you can definitely see it. Um, but it looks a ton better than it did already, so. Um, two more coats should do it. This stuff isn't dried on, it's just sitting on top, so I'll just take the blower. Um, probably do that tomorrow. I'm gonna knock out both coats, I think. And uh, this roof will be done, good to go. Hopefully it'll be a lot cooler too. Somebody on one of these container pages that I follow were saying that some people will put up like supports and uh, make it where the roof is pitched and that will help drain like water off of it so there's no standing water. But I think to do that, I'd have to put, you know, like two by fours or whatever up all over the place. And I just, you know, I don't want to have to walk around it. Plus, once this stuff is dried on there, it doesn't matter if water pools, it's rated for that kind of stuff. So, not a big deal. Um, so today, since I got some dry time, it did rain earlier, but now it's not supposed to rain the rest of the day. So, I'm gonna get started on painting the ugly yellow rusted side. So this is all, again, just surface rust, but it needs to be cleaned up. So I'm gonna, I have a brand new roller and uh, brand new paint pads and everything. So I'm gonna pull up the ladder out. This is the stuff I'm using. <clears throat> I was gonna go with bare interior exterior paint because that's what I used when we painted the shuttle bus. Um, but this lady said that this would be better for metal. So this is Rust-Oleum's professional grade high performance oil base. And uh, this is the color we're going with, Hunter Green. And it's gonna look just like that color. So it should look a lot nicer. And then it's also, like I said, gonna blend in a little bit. We'll pop out that yellow so much and It'll cover up a lot of the rust. She said it'll be good for the rust. All right, guys, like two hours later, maybe, Sam, right? Something like that. <sighs> you guys ready to see the difference? And here it is, the after. All covered up, rust spots covered up. Looks pretty good. So this was a gallon of paint. I honestly thought I would be able to do the whole container, but uh, this is as far as I made it. So we did one full side and about three quarters of the back. So I'm gonna have to get at least two more cans and uh, then she'll be, oh, oh, we named her by the way. What do we name her, Sam? The Green Hornet. The Green Hornet. I thought, I thought it would be cool if we put like the logo on it. That'd be pretty neat. Huh. A lot of chickens free ranging. Oh yeah, they're, they're right there. So, Sam has a bird feeder over there, yeah, we'll, we'll show you, and uh, you know when the birds go over there, don't fall Sam. Oh, see, that's what you get. So, oh, I'm out of breath. So Sam's bird feeder is right here, and as the birds eat it, you know, some of it falls, and it's been growing this grass. Don't mind my hair, that's for, oh, yeah, that's this for is, birds that come This is the by. hair from Sam's brush. And she thought she'd leave it out here for like the wild birds to make a nest. But they, the chickens love this seed. They've been picking the loose seed out and they've been eating this grass. It was super poofy before and they already ate it down quite a bit. Yeah. What do you guys think? You guys like it? They got big. 
Some let me still touch them. This, oh my god, when, they, when you pick them up, they freaking scream. Okay. If you can grab one, they're so fast. <laughs> it's all right. God, he's panicking. It's okay. They like when you don't hold their wings down. So yeah, because so yeah, then they can flap away. So I go underneath. Go fly away. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's their area now. They can't escape in the gazebo. Yeah, they keep pushing the damn... So I have these blocks. Um, and I put them like on top of the plastic so they don't... Like this. And they, they push it out anyway. Or they push my plant out of the way and go behind the plant because I use that as a thing to block it. Yeah, so... So I raked inside it because the they stink. <laughs> and plus, I have a lot of the corners covered now because of we've been getting a lot of rain, like a ridiculous amount of rain. I'm, we, we're grateful for it. So I'm just raking out the old dirt and stuff like that. That way you could kind of air it out a little bit. Yeah. So as you can see, they're running around. They're pretty happy. <laughs> like I was the telling you guys. <laughs> yeah, they, I got to keep them inside when they're out because they'll go after them. But I got to keep these birds moving. I don't want them to get. Oh, yeah. They were getting ridiculously lazy. That's another reason why I'm letting them roam around. Yeah. But we're making our way on the... Uh, container there i'll have to get another two cans of paint and that'll be good to go uh, i still got to do like two coats on the roof but i wanted to get this started at least so we're almost halfway done with the container next i decided i am going to paint the inside i'm going to paint the walls white i think it's going to brighten it up in there quite a bit because and eventually i'm going to do a vent well, i'm going to do quite a few vents to get air moving but i want to do like a rooftop vent i have those rv vents that I pulled out um, from when I did the solar. So, but you can see this, you know, it's pretty dark in here. It looks like a dungeon. Um, but I figure if I, you know, this is, this door is still closed, but if I paint it white in here, I figure it'll be quite a bit brighter. And then eventually I would love to put those two extra solar panels that I have um, on that roof and somehow set up some kind of power in here with lights or whatever, I don't know. Just something I'm thinking about. Yeah, I could even use the, uh, you know, the solar portable generator things that we have and just put a light in here if I really wanted to. Get like a shop light from Harbor Freight, hang it on the roof. That would be awesome. I think I might do that. <laughs> I got dirt in my shoes. All right. So, and I just put my feet back on the ground. That so made no sense. Dirty again. So I wanted to tell you guys what we're doing with our traveling plans. We leave Florida a couple of days before Christmas, but we're stopping in St. Augustine to do the Christmas lights. I was ter really sick last year, so I couldn't even go and do it. So we're staying at a state park that we've never been to, and we're gonna go drive over to St. Augustine to see the lights and do the trolley tour and get warm apple cider. We never had warm apple cider, we always had cold, so we're curious to try that out. It's probably gonna taste like piss. <laughs> Holy crap, the birds are running. Go back to the grass. Retreat, retreat. <laughs> All right, continue. And we are officially, after that, after we see family for Christmas, we are slowly making our way to Arizona. Yep, we are going to be going to RTR. I am so excited. There's a women's RTR and then the regular one for everybody. So we're probably gonna go to the women's one for me to meet other no women nomads and do some of the events there. But we're also gonna be going to the normal one too. I don't think we're going to be staying the whole time because, you know, we have an issue staying still, but we're going to be there for a while and I'm really excited. So if you guys are going to be going, we hope to see you. And I know a lot of you have been asking for years when we were going to head over there and we're finally doing it. Woo! <laughs> Joy. He's not too crazy. You know, I'm more social than No, him. stop. I'm excited. So oh, if you follow us on TikTok, Sam made me seem like I am an antisocial You're the one that butterfly. even said I hate people. You are screaming in my ear. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm not in your ear. I don't hate people. Um, I don't know. I just, I just like my me time, my, my private time, my quiet time. I'm not like, I don't mind being out and having some drinks with people and chilling. But, uh, he's a one day kind of person and then he's ready. No, to I, I mean, one or one or two the most, I feel like. You're losing your mind at Schooly Swarm. Oh, well, Schooly Swarm sucked. But <laughs> if there's like a lot of events going on, which there wasn't at Schooly Swarm, there was nothing going on at Schooly Swarm. It was a waste Ooh, of money. Let's play kickball. Yeah, kickball. Okay, great. Um, there was, We're like, fat. We can't play now, that. <laughs> I mean, I can. I might just like trip and fall. My stomach will probably save me, Kick though. kid in the face with the ball. <laughs> Oh, now I want to play. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, see, that's what you get. That's karma. Now you're coughing to death. Um, <laughs> but no, I, you know, if there's events and things going on to keep my mind... Every day you know, at moving, RTR, they're doing events. Um, right, so, so RTR has a whole itinerary of things going on. And I've never been. Some people say it's great. Some people say it's okay. Some people say I would never go again. I mean, people praise Schooly Swarm, so... <laughs> yeah. So I've never <laughs> been to RTR. I've, I've actually never been out west to hang out. I've been out west working when we delivered RVs, but we never, you know, we never we sat never around or, or hung out or went on vacation there, so... Um, this should be an awesome trip. I'm really excited about it. I really am. Um, it, it'll be, it's nice to go see other things because we've been riding the East Coast for God knows how many years now. Yeah, we're so, East Coast pros. So it's nice. I mean, it'll be nice to go up to Maine like that far up, but it'll be nice to explore the West Coast because, you know, like he said, we've done RV transport and we haven't really been able to explore much. And we went to Arizona once and we didn't want to leave. We liked it, but we had another run. Oh, New Mexico was killer too. Yeah. So yeah. I'm really excited to check out new areas. I definitely would love to visit Yellowstone, so I'm hoping that we could do that too. But yeah, long story short, I, I'm not completely antisocial. I just, uh, like I said, I just... I thought we spoke about that Just like already. my me time. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to get back to that. Um, I'm, I like, you know, like if you come up to me, I'm not going to be a douche and ignore you. I'm going to say hi and how are you? And, oh, here's an, here's an example. Okay. One of my, one of our subscribers who's been subscribed for a long time, I think since RV Transport, yeah. uh, Brian, he has, he has been, I don't know, at least three, four years, I think. And he's always gifted us with stuff. Yeah, he's, he's always sending me showers. stuff. He's always giving me tips and advice on stuff. Um, and the other day he was in town and we went out to dinner and we had a good time and we were joking around. We met his dog, uh, Shasta. I always want to say Sasha, but it's Shasta. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, and you know, I was nice and I was friendly and outgoing. <laughs> and, uh, he was more outgoing than I was. Yeah. She, yes. Yes, we switch roles. Actually, we switch roles when it's a male. Yeah. If it's a female, then she's a social butterfly. <laughs> or if it's a couple. Mm. Intimidated or something? No, I just feel like I can't throw oh. similar interests, I guess, because I'm into makeup You're and You're not into trucking? And all that other stuff. Brian's a long-haul trucker. I feel like you guys are... like. You, and you, you talk to him a lot more than I do. Yeah, so I'm going to give you his I number do. so you can call him. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I love that. <laughs> Good morning, guys. This is day two of this vlog. I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Sam and I just got finished watching the Macy's Day Parade on TV. It was all right. It was all right. I don't know. What happened to the car with them stopping at the Macy's area? You know, on the ground has Macy's or the Star, whatever it is. Whatever happened to that and dancing and playing the music and having, like, the light? I saw they had pentatonics. Yeah, so we... So what happened with that? Why didn't they sing? We didn't, um... <laughs> I didn't hook up the antenna today, <laughs> so we didn't get to watch it from like Fox or one of the bigger networks. We just watched it from one of the smaller ones, and they were closer to the front. Um, so, uh, you yeah, know, I got to see it. yeah. So we weren't by Macy's like Square or whatever you call it, you know, where they do all the dancing and stuff. So we didn't get to see that, but it was still cool to see all the floats and stuff. A couple of them popped in certain areas. Uh, that was pretty scary. I thought they were gonna start coming down at some point. <laughs> But they went on through. Anyway, we got the chickens out again today. They're feeding on that grass. Well, they were breaking out, so I decided to let them out. Yeah, yeah, I found a, uh, Sam found a stray before. So the container, the first side dried. Oh, yeah, he's ours. He just, he just astrayed from the. Or she, I think they're all females. Yeah, they're all females. So it came out nice, nice and green. Looks good. So today I'm going to. Uh, Hop up there. Sam's gonna start prepping stuff for dinner, but she likes me out of the way at, at, the, at first, so that you know she's not like banging into me every time she turns around. So I'm gonna jump up here. We're gonna do one more coat of that last America. I got two more coats to do, but I'm gonna do one more for today, uh, and then I'm gonna help Sam inside a little bit. But it's coming along. Unfortunately, the Home Depot is obviously closed today because it's Thanksgiving, but uh, I do still need two more coats of paint on here. All right, guys, coat number two is officially done on the roof. So for bad storms and stuff like that, I want to be able to put the ATV in here. Um, I was about to buy ramps on Harbor Freight's website for, you know, Black Friday, but I have these car ramps. I'm pretty sure the ATV will go over that. 
so it's been over harder stuff than that so we're gonna pull it out and give it a shot all right what do you guys think is we gonna go Went up without an issue. Now we're gonna stay in here until we die of carbon monoxide. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it stinks. Are the chickens running away? <sighs> the turkey's officially in the oven. It's pretty big. I think it's bigger than last year's, so I had to like push um, like down on it so that way its backbone like broke. Um, it's touching the top of the oven a very little and I had to like squeeze the tin that it's in to fit. So I think next year we're gonna have to do a smaller turkey. How big is the one that we have? The one we have is 14 pounds. And we probably should have went with like a 10 a to 10. 12 pound. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick yeah. with 10 pounds. I think that's more than enough. Yeah, figures now they're all on sale at Kroger. They're like half the price of what I paid. Mm. Then you have to worry about getting it on time. So I'm sure they're not working today. I'm really enjoying this grass. Guys, I'm going to put an ending on this vlog that way I can get it up for you guys. But I hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.